Jessica Frost Ballas here with the next installment of the Interactive Cards by Jess series for Simon Says Stamp. Today's card is a little more intricate than some, so the video is a tad bit longer than my normal videos, but I think it's worth it. This card has two interactive features. First, it contains a surprise shadow box, but it also lights up. The light up element is created separately from the shadow box, so you could skip that part, but I highly recommend giving it a try because it really gives your card that extra something special. So let's get started. To start, I blend distress inks to create a galaxy background. I used picked raspberry, peacock feathers, blueprint sketch, wilted violet, and chipped sapphire. I apply them in loose lines across a piece of white cardstock. Next, I cover most of the colors up with black soot distress ink. At this point, it doesn't look like much, but just wait. Once the panel is dry, I splatter it with water a few times and blot off the excess. Then I splatter it with white paint to add lots of stars. I vary the amount of paint on my brush for large and small splatters. Then I use my Fine Tech palette to add gold, black, and silver splatters. I let that dry completely while I work on the rest of the card. Next, I stamp the fox and bunny from Lawn Fawns upon a star with Versafine and heat emboss them with clear embossing powder before coloring them with Copic markers. When I'm done coloring, I die cut them with the coordinating dies. Next, I trim part of the galaxy panel to 5 and 3 eighths by 2 and 3 quarters. I die cut the large rectangle from the shadow box die from the leftover galaxy panel. Then I die cut the shadow box twice from soft navy cardstock, including the large stitched window on one panel. Finally, I die cut a piece of soft navy cardstock to 10 and 7 eighths by 2 and 3 quarters and score it at 5 and 7 sixteenths. I include a little extra on the ends of the card base to account for the inside bulk of the card. I score and fold all of the elements of my card with my bone folder and then line them up to see how the card would look. Next, I die cut the Starry Skies die from my large galaxy panel. This will be the front of my card and will contain the light up element. I place the galaxy panel over the long card base and use a pencil to mark the center of the shooting star on the soft navy cardstock. I use a plastic template to draw the outline of my light sticker to help guide the placement of my LED sticker. Then I turn the galaxy panel over and adhere vellum behind the stars to hide the LED sticker. Later you'll see that I add a white panel behind the larger piece of vellum to brighten up the other stars. You could just skip the large piece of vellum and go straight to using white cardstock or glitter cardstock. Before working with Chibitronics lights, I always like to draw my circuit template on the panel. I draw a large circle to indicate where the battery will go, and then draw lines connecting the positive and negative sides of the LED sticker to the battery. Then I take a strip of cardstock cut to 1 by 2 inches, fold it in half and adhere it over the circle I drew. This is my battery holder. Next I place a piece of copper tape from the bottom of my battery holder to the positive side of my light sticker. When I need to make a turn, I first fold the tape in the opposite direction from where I want to go, crease it and then fold it forward for a sharp crease.
For the second piece, I start it on top of the battery holder and then lead it to the negative side of my light sticker. I use thin score tape placed on either side of the copper tape to adhere my battery to the bottom of the battery holder. I don't adhere the top of the battery holder to the battery, otherwise the light would always be engaged, draining the battery faster. This way you have to push down to get the light to light up. Then I adhere my light sticker and test my circuit. If the light doesn't light up, make sure the light sticker is firmly pressed to the copper tape and there are no tears anywhere in the copper tape. Either of those will cause the circuit to break. To help hold the LED sticker in place, I add tiny strips of copper tape to the top and bottom of the LED sticker. Next I apply a double layer of foam tape to the panel and then adhere the galaxy piece on top. Again, you could skip this part if you didn't want to add a light and just adhere the galaxy panel to the card base. Now it's time to build the shadow box. I start by adhering the second galaxy piece to the shadow box without the cutout window. Then I adhere the shadow box piece with the cutout window to the left side of my card with liquid adhesive. I only adhere the solid rectangle, not the scored flap or the window panel. Then I adhere the piece with the galaxy panel to the right side of the card, being careful to only apply adhesive to the back of the galaxy portion. Finally, I used thin score tape to adhere the tab to the window panel. The card folds perfectly flat, but when you open it, the shadow box pops up. Next, I stamp the constellations from upon a star onto vellum and heat emboss them with silver embossing powder before die cutting them with the coordinating dies. I also stamp sentiments from upon a star and tiny tag sayings onto the stitched rectangles included in the shadow box die set. Finally, I die cut the hills from the same set with black cardstock. I adhere the sentiment to the front of the card and add the push here circle from push here over the battery. Then I applied the rectangular panels inside the card to give myself room for the rest of the sentiment and a handwritten message. I use score tape to adhere the hills inside the shadow box and then add the critters. I adhere a tiny pink heart to a strip of acetate and adhere that behind the critters so that it would seemingly float above their heads. Then I add the constellations to the sky and to the stitched rectangle. Off camera, I added Spectrum Noir Clear Sparkle to the vellum stars on the front panel.
And that's it. I hope this inspires you to give Surprise Shadow Box cards a try. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll be back next month with a new interactive card. Have a wonderful day, and until next time, happy crafting. Bye!